Hi, I'm Dr Dave Hone and I'm a paleontologist at Queen Mary University London in the UK. My research focuses on the behaviour and ecology of the theropod dinosaurs, the group of carnivorous dinosaurs that includes famous animals like Tyrannosaurus, Spinosaurus and Velociraptor. I look at the shape and structure of their skulls and teeth and the marks they left on bones of animals they fed upon to work out what and how they ate. This Petri dish project has been set up to investigate a rather special fossilised skull of a theropod called Daspolitosaurus, which was recovered from part of a World Heritage Site of Dinosaur Fossils in Alberta, Canada. Daspolitosaurus was a Tyrannosaur, and a close relative of the legendary Tyrannosaurus, and various other forms such as Duchang Tyrannus and Albertosaurus. All of these were large, bipedal animals with small arms, large heads and teeth, and a bone-crushing bite. Daspolitosaurus got up to about 9 metres in length, and could weigh in the region of 2 tonnes, so as a huge predator. The fossil skull is interesting because it shows evidence of bite marks from another large carnivorous dinosaur, most likely another Daspolitosaurus, so we have evidence of cannibalism. This is obviously both exciting and intriguing, and careful study of this fossil is required. By fully analysing the shape, depths and patterns of the bite marks, it should be possible to determine which species made these feeding traces, and importantly the pattern of how it was biting and behaving. Examining the environmental conditions in which the skull was buried will also tell us when the animal died. Was it shortly before burial, or had it been lying out in the open a long time before it was fed upon? In short, was this a case of active predation of Despasplitosaurus by another, or was it already dead and the carcass was simply scavenged by another passing tyrannosaur? This project will fund my research trip to the famous Royal Tyrrell Museum in Drumheller, Alberta, where the skull is held and support the detailed investigations of the skull and associated fossils required to fully piece together the story of this dramatic find. Excess funding will be used to support open access publication of the resulting scientific paper to ensure that everyone can share in the results of this investigation, and any further money will be donated to the Dinosaur Research Institute, which supports further research into dinosaurs in Canada. While we do already know quite a lot about the feeding behaviour of tyrannosaurs, this skull can potentially add much important new information. Work to date has tended to focus on the biting made by truly huge giants like Tyrannosaurus and Tarbosaurus. So seeing how a somewhat smaller, earlier Tyrannosaur like Daspolitosaurus acted can tell us both about their behaviour and how it might have changed and evolved over time as the group got larger. I look forward to diving into this project and what this fossil can tell us about the dining habits of the Tyrannosaurs. This work would not be possible without donors to Petri Dish and I hope you can find a little to help support this dinosaur project. Thanks for listening.